guys welcome back to what's on my plate so for today we're making a shepherd's pie it's gonna be great you're gonna love it so let's get started okay so first we need a tablespoon of olive oil in my pan I'm heating it up and then once it gets heated here we're gonna add one medium diced onion Add that in. Okay, so this is gonna saute here for about, you know, about four minutes until um, it gets a little bit softened. And then after we're gonna add the garlic in. So just about four minutes for this. Okay, so now we go ahead and add the garlic in. Okay, mix that up and the garlic just stays in here for just a few seconds because we don't want it to burn okay and now we're gonna add one and a half pounds of a meatloaf mix I love using meatloaf mix for this so the meatloaf mix is basically beef pork and veal so I'm gonna add that in and we're gonna saute this Till it's no longer pink. Okay. Just make sure you break it up. So continue cooking that. And as it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle um, a little bit of salt on top here. And I'm going to sprinkle some pepper on top as well. So that was about a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Mix this up here and get it to cook. So once it's browned, we'll continue to the next step. Okay, so now that my meat is browned, that was about four to five minutes to brown it. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Blend this up in here. Okay. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Blend that up. Okay. And once it's all incorporated here, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of flour. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, blend this all up in here together on medium heat. And this comes together so quickly and it's just absolutely delicious. I'm actually going to make a mashed potato from the box um, instead of making my own. It's just quicker and easier. Um, so now that the flour is incorporated in here, we're going to go ahead and add our broth. I have bone broth, bone beef broth. So it's one cup. Okay. And then mix this up in here and make sure each piece of the, the beef is you know, if it has like large chunks, just break it up. So good. This is going to be great. Okay. And then we're going to get to the next step. We're just going to let this um, simmer for just a few moments. And then I'm going to start adding the vegetables in here. 
So just about two, three minutes. Okay, so that was about two, three minutes. Um, I added a bay leaf in here um, just for more flavor. And now I'm gonna add a whole bag, a 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables. I got carrots, green beans, corn, and peas frozen and I'm putting it in right now. So blend this all up together and just let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. And don't forget, just put the bay leaf in here, but don't forget to remove it. If you feel like it uh, doesn't have enough liquid in here, you can go ahead and add um, another quarter cup of broth. Okay, so we're gonna let this simmer. And while this is simmering, I'm gonna make my ba um, box mashed potatoes. And I'm preheating my oven to 400. And this right here, I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it simmer for about five to seven minutes. It doesn't need that much long. Uh, it doesn't need that much time to simmer. So this is on. I'm gonna work on my mashed potatoes next. So I quickly made my mashed potatoes. They're all done. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter in here. I'm gonna let the butter melt. I'm gonna mix it up. And then once I take my filling and put it in my baking dish, I'm gonna lay all the mashed potatoes on top. So uh, we're gonna get to that point very quickly. Okay, so here's my filling. It's complete. I took the bay leaf out and it looks absolutely delicious. I tasted some and it's great. If you feel you need extra salt, go ahead and add it in. I did add another quarter teaspoon um, but just be careful because the mashed potatoes are salty as well, so you don't want to over salt. Okay, so here's my filling, and I'm going to get to my baking dish now. And this is going to go right in the oven at 450, um, I'm sorry, 400 degrees for 25 minutes or 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes. And then it's done, and then we're going to plate it, and I'll show you the end result. But first, let's get this in the baking dish. Okay, so this is the baking dish I'm using. Um, it's a deep dish and I love it. It's two and a half quarts. So I'm gonna use this today and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside with vegetable spray. Okay, great. And now we're gonna take our filling and just add right in. Add it right in. Okay. Sorry, my oven is beeping. Okay, so now my shepherd's pie is in here, my filling, in my two and a quarter, two and a half quarts baking dish. It's best to use a deep dish, I think, but you can use whatever you want. See how the filling is all the way almost to the top? So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make, uh, add our mashed potatoes right on top. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it could be messy. So I just used um, like one packet out of my box of the mashed potato. And it's more than enough. You can definitely make your own potatoes. I usually do, but sometimes, you know, there's, there's not enough time in the day. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. It's all come together. Now this is just needs like 25 to 30 minutes in the oven and it's done. Um, you can put a baking dish on the bottom rack just in case it spills over because sometimes the, the juices come out. So yeah, just leave it messy if you want. So I just want to make sure every, every part's covered and of course to top it, I always put my paprika on top for the color. And now this is going to go in the oven. So I will plate it and I will show you, but thank you so much for watching what's on my plate. Okay, so here it is, just came out of the oven, sizzling. 
and then I'm just gonna scoop some out on my plate and I'll take a picture for you and make sure you let it um, cool off for a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, so here it is plated. Look how good that looks.